alternate page with proper canonical tag. What that means? Troubleshooting, if you need to troubleshoot, will be detailed in this video. What Search Console reports tell you with alternate page with proper canonical tag is this. Let's look at a sample example URL. Let's press on the arrow icon to open the URL. Let's press on Ctrl U on our keyboard. And here, let's press Ctrl F and search for canonical. So, basically, the Search Console report is telling you that Google has seen a canonical tag link and as far as Google is concerned they have indexed the proper canonical tag that means most often for most websites this is not a problem to fix and everything is okay because Google is determining what URL to index. As we can see, that's a URL for a category. And when we look at the canonical tag, that's a different URL. And that's a proper canonical URL. Make sense? So let's press on Ctrl U for this URL because that's a different URL. And here, this is the correct canonical. So therefore, in this example, all alternate page with proper canonical tag, this is not a problem. This for all known pages, almost all websites will see this for all known pages. Why? Because Google often finds links. It may be generated from some external website pointing to your website. And when it tries to visit the example URL, let's take a look. As we can see, this URL, there is like three dots here. That doesn't make sense. So if I look at the source code, we can see that proper canonical tag is defined here. So even for this, there is nothing to fix. But when you're analyzing any page indexing reports, what you want is you want to press on all submitted pages. And here, as we can see, alternate page with proper canonical tag is not a problem. So then you can move on and do other stuff on your website. So now let's press on the example URL. I'll show you a couple of tools for you to further inspect page indexing problems. Let's inspect this example URL to see what Google shows us. Here, the page indexing report page is not indexed. Why? Because alternate page with proper canonical tag was detected. When was it discovered? Was it in the sitemap? Well, that's one area that you should triple check. As in, any URLs on your sitemap should not have, you know, should not tell Google to go elsewhere. As in, the canonical tags on the website should be set up correctly. And here, the referring page is actually coming from some YouTube, perhaps, video description. Okay? And here, Search Console URL Inspection Tool Report tells us user declared canonical is this one. Is that in Google's index? Let's press Inspect because that will be in Google's index. So there is nothing to fix. So I know it's rather cumbersome to understand certain page indexing issues for most websites, 
because you may be using WordPress, Shopify, Blogger, Wix, and so on. So, alternate page with proper canonical tag. All submitted pages. Submitted pages are coming from your sitemaps. So make sure the sitemap you've submitted is the correct sitemap for your website. And if there are any problems for all submitted pages, then you want to fix that. How do you fix it? One, if the problem URL is on your sitemap, then you remove that URL from your sitemap because Google has seen a canonical tag on a different URL. So the problem URL shouldn't be in your sitemap. So you need to remove that from your sitemap. And that's how you approach proper canonical tag. This could happen for e-commerce sites, for multilingual sites. Oftentimes, it's the canonical tag on your website that you need to double check. Okay, so, you know, setting up your website correctly according to, let's take a look. Google guidelines would actually take care of a lot of things because Google guidelines tell you how to approach the canonical tags. Okay, rel canonical and how you meant to have the correct ways, especially for multilingual websites or product related websites. Yeah. If after watching this particular video session, you're still unsure, Simply check out Rank Your Website because I'm maintain, maintaining a new blog post whereby I'm going to cover all page indexing issues and create updated tutorials.